Hello there, I am the Crazy Nerd Inventor and today I'm going to show you how to take Slurin images. What Slurin imaging is, is a way of visualising disturbances in the air that are caused by shock waves, which can be from a bullet and also you can visualise things like acetone vapours. For Slurin photography you need a parabolic mirror and a point light source. For the point light source I found that using the torch on your phone is more than sufficient for this, it is bright and the LED is quite small. However, the parabolic mirror I did not have. So instead of a parabolic mirror, my setup uses a magnifying glass. So what you want to do is you want to place your light source as far away as possible from the magnifying glass. The reason you want to do this is because that light from on your torch is actually really bright and it will wash out any details. Turn the light off here. So, so the light from my torch on my phone is being projected onto my hand and you can see it reaches a focal point. This is where you want to place your camera. You'll be able to tell when you're in the focal point depending on how the magnifying glass looks. I placed my camera near the focal point, however the focal point is not on the sensor. Here you can see that there is this bright spot in the middle and if I pan my camera a bit you can see that little spot moving so it's on the right of the magnifying glass and now it's on to the left so when you're at this stage you want to move the camera until the focal point is on the sensor and you'll be able to tell when this happens when that bright spot takes up the entire magnifying glass so yeah I'm moving it forwards So you can see the bright spot getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And there we go. So, in a nutshell, if the magnifying glass looks like that, or looks like that, your camera is not on the focal point. However, when the magnifying glass looks like this, is this on the focal point? Now you can see a little bit of a rainbow effect going on here. Now this is because my uh, magnifying glass has crappy optics. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set the shutter speed to 1 over 8000. I've set the aperture to f16 and I've reduced the exposure to minus 5. Now you can still see that rainbow colour. Again, due to the crappy optics of this magnifying glass. But now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bottle of acetone. And let's see if we can see some vapours. Here you can see the bottle of acetone. And there we go. Look at that! And look at those colours. Look at that. I have no expectations for this to work. Let's try a bottle of deodorant. Slurin imaging, just a phone and a cheap magnifying glass, no need for an expensive parabolic mirror.
Now, the disadvantages of this is that the, the picture is quite small because I'm using a small, a relatively small magnifying glass. But this is slur in imaging using nothing but a magnifying glass instead of a really expensive parabolic mirror. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video.